so today we are going to discuss the blood pressure and resistance to blood flow previously we have discussed the blood flow and we discussed that the blood flow can be calculated with the help of ohm's law which was like flow is equal to pressure difference divided by resistance this is something which we discussed so basically the blood pressure and resistance both are very much important for the calculation of blood flow we have discussed blood flow and we also discussed that blood flow can be calculated with the help of ultrasonic doppler flow meter as well as electromagnetic flow meter but as far as blood pressure is concerned blood pressure is basically defined as a force exerted by the blood against any unit area of the vessel wall and the unit of blood pressure is mm mm of mercury millimeter of mercury these are different types of blood vessels this is the left this is the right atrium of the heart this is right ventricle this is the left atrium this is the left ventricle that's something we have discussed again and again basically right atrium is throwing the blood into the lungs and it get it gets oxygenated comes back into the right side of the heart and then it comes to the right ventricle the left ventricle sorry and the left ventricle pumps the blood into the whole body where the body consumes the oxygen and the nutrients and then the waste and the deoxygenated blood come again to the right side of the heart these are basically all blood vessels arteries as well as veins but when the blood is flowing in the arteries and the veins it is basically exerting some pressure suppose for example this is a blood vessel so the blood inside the vessel the blood inside the vessel is exerting some pressure on the vessel wall this pressure exerted by the blood against any unit area any specific area is no of the vessel wall is basically known as the blood pressure and the unit of blood pressure is mm of mercury or millimeter of mercury suppose for example we connect this blood vessel here with a manometer a manometer is a device which basically calculates the blood pressure if we connect this blood pressure with the manometer which is having the green color mercury and suppose for example the blood pressure in the this artery is 50 mm of mercury then it will raise it will raise the column of mercury up to 50 mm up to 50 mm that's why it's known as 50 mm of mercury so 50 mm of mercury means that if a blood vessel a blood vessel which is having a blood pressure of 50 mm of mercury it's connected with a manometer it will be able to raise the column of mercury by 50 mm then if it's 100 if it's 100 mm it will be able to raise the the column of mercury by 100 mm so blood pressure is very simple it can be defined as a force it can be defined as a force exerted by the blood against the wall of the vessel and its unit is mm of mercury and basically calculated with the help of a manometer now coming towards the resistance resistance to blood flow resistance is basically the impediment to blood flow impediment is basically you you can say a difficulty or resistance to against which the blood has to flow so if the blood is basically flowing here and this these vessels are resisting these are not allowing the blood to flow they they are impeding then this impediment this impediment to the flow of blood is known as resistance to the blood flow now resistance is basically present in the vessel walls resistance is basically present in the vessel walls and it cannot be measured cannot be measured by any means the blood flow could be measured by electromagnetic flow meter it could also be measured by ultrasonic doppler flow meter and it could be calculated with the help of ohm's law ohm's law 
ohms law this is the ohms law and similarly blood pressure could be calculated flow was calculated by ohms law and blood pressure is can be measured with the help of manometer but there is no way to calculate the resistance it can't be calculated by direct means so it is calculated by the modified ohms law we have the ohms law which is showing the flow is equal to pressure by resistance so if we define it we basically modify this ohms law we get resistance is equal to pressure by force and the unit of resistance will be pru peripheral resistance unit pru is basically peripheral resistance unit now basically the resistance to calculate the resistance with the help of this equation we have two ways one is to calculate the total peripheral vascular resistance and the other is total pulmonary resistance we know that the heart right side of the heart it is basically pumping the blood into the lungs and the left side of the heart is basically pumping the blood into the whole of the human body except the lungs now the pressures in the human blood vessels in the the body and the lungs are a bit different but the cardiac output the flow of blood is the same 5 liter of blood is flowing through the lungs and 5 liter of blood is flowing through the peripheral resistance so the cardiac output is the same but the re resistance is different so to calculate the total peripheral resistance the resistance which is present in the whole of the human body we see that the normal flow is about 100 ml per second normal cardiac output or normal blood flow is about 100 ml per second and the normal pressure difference is also about 100 ml per second because uh, sorry the normal pressure difference is about Hundred, it's about hundred mm of mercury. It's about hundred mm of mercury. Because the pressure here is hundred mm of mercury, and the pressure here in the in the arteries it's about hundred mm of mercury, while in the veins it's about zero. So the the difference the difference is about hundred. Hundred minus zero. If you calculate, hundred minus zero is equal to hundred. So pressure difference here comes as hundred, while the blood flow in the whole of the body is also hundred mL per second. So when hundred divided by hundred, it comes as one peripheral resistance unit. So resistance in the human body. the total peripheral vascular resistance or the resistance of all the blood vessels of the human body except the vessels of the lungs is about one peripheral resistance unit now if these vessels squeeze and they constrict this can in this peripheral resistance can increase up to 4 it can increase to 4 if these constrict and the impediment impediment increases the resistance will increase but these vessels if dilate it can basically fall to 0.4 or 0.5 if these vessels dilate and the impediment decreases if it decreases then the peripheral resistance will also decrease to calculate the total pulmonary resistance we should know the pressures in the pulmonary artery and pressure in the a left atrium so the pressure in the pulmonary artery is about 16 mm of mercury here we have 16 mm of mercury in pulmonary artery while pressure in the left atrial in in the left atrium is about 2 mm of mercury so the difference the difference is about 14 so if we put these values in this modified ohms equation we get 14 divided by 100 is equal to 0.14 peripheral resistance unit 
here you see the pressure difference is about 14 because the pressure we have to calculate the pressure difference calculation of the pressure difference is important for calculating the resistance and pressure difference is calculated by basically subtracting the lower pressure from the higher pressure and for the blood flow it is very much important that there is a difference in the pressure dip in the pressure on two sides if the pressure is high on one side of the circulation and low on the other then the blood will be flowing towards the lower side but if it's high on both the side then there will be no flow of blood occurring so calculating the pressure difference is important so the pressure difference is high in the total per, uh, circulation the whole body and the peripheral resistance is about one peripheral resistance unit in the whole of the body but in the pulmonary circulation it's uh, it's 16 in the pulmonary artery and 2 in the left atrium it's very much low so the total peripheral resistance is about 7 times lower than the total the pul total pulmonary resistance is about 7 times lower than the total peripheral resistance now to summarize this lecture we basically discussed the blood pressure blood pressure is the force exerted by the blood against any unit area of the vessel wall and it is calculated with the help of manometer and the unit of blood pressure is about is mm of mercury and if we connect a blood vessel to a manometer which basically calculate the blood pressure if the pressure in the vessel is 50 it will raise the column of mercury by 50 mm and if the pressure is 100 it will raise the column of mercury by 100 mm if the pressure is 150 it will raise the column by 150 mm so basically the blood pressure is calculated with the help of a um, it is measured with the help of a manometer then we discuss the resistance to blood flow resistance is the impediment to blood flow and it cannot be measured directly but it can be calculated with the help of modified Ohm's law. This is the Ohm's equation and it has been modified here. The two components needed for the calculation of resistance are pressure difference on the arterial and venous side, pressure difference on the arterial and venous side and flow. Now we know that the flow of the blood is same, flow of blood is same in the pulmonary and the uh, peripheral circulation but the resistance is different so the flow is 100 ml per second here and the normal pressure difference between the arterial and venous side is also 100 so total peripheral resistance of the human body is about one peripheral resistance unit one PRU but for the pulmonary circulation the pressure in the pulmonary artery is 16 while the pressure in the left vein the difference between the artery and the vein it's about 14 and the flow is again 100 because the flow in, of the blood is same in the peripheral as well as the pulmonary circulation so 14 divided by 100 is about 0 0.14 peripheral resistance unit it basically shows that the per resistance in the pulmonary circulation is very much low about 7 times low as compared to the resistance in the total peripheral circulation so that's all about the blood pressure and resistance to blood flow